Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a great weekend. Now it's time to get this week started with today's Motivation of Monday, man. Um, had a good weekend with the family and stuff. Um, my wife got to get away with some other women from the church, and for about a day, we had a house full of kids, but we survived. Um, just want to touch with you today, a little bit different. Um, just share my heart. When I feel like the Lord put on my heart, um, unless you've been on, off the grid for 10 years, you know what tomorrow is. It's election day, and I'm not on here to endorse any side or tell you how you should do it, this and that. Um, if you say, I'm going to sit this one out, Tay, then so be it. I, I wouldn't have an issue with that at all. Um, what I will say is that um, just something when I was in church during praise and worship yesterday, I was like, Lord, what should I speak on, man? And like, you know, I had a couple of quotes and stuff like that, but um, I didn't hear like a, a sound from from heaven or nothing like that by angels. This is what hit my heart. And this is all I'm going to say. I'm going to say a couple of things and like, I actually apply as you go through this week and then as the weeks go on, and I hope to get my TV back. <laughs> Kim said I watch TV with the kids without an ad popping up. You know, I mean, just come on. I'm Tuesday. We here might take a week or two to get everything solved out, but get back to living life. All right. So this is out of First John four, chapter twenty through twenty one. If someone says I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God who he has not seen? And this commandment. We have from him that he who loves God must love his brother also. And that's the thing. Like, I, I've, I've seen how we go back and forth and be ugly and one another and just, like, you can't have a conversation. How can you be informed? We can't talk to your brother or sister about something. Because um, you can't trust everything on the internet. But even a, a regular conversation or a couple of questions can turn into, like, an uprise or something. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It ain't that serious. So I hope that we can get back to being civil to one another, loving on one another, and you know what? I truly believe that these candidates do, do have a heart to do some things right, but they can't solve your problems. I'm pretty sure that person you're going back and forth with might be the answer to your problems. But we'll never get there. We can't get back to being civil to one another. We can talk things out or agree to disagree. I've been married 11 years. My wife don't agree on everything, but we still love each other. You know, um, me and my big brother, when he was alive, when we were young, we used to fight like cats and dogs. And some of y'all watching us know of that. My mom had to call the police twice. And last time, uh, Officer Hall was like, listen, if I come back out here, somebody going to jail. That pretty much stopped our fighting. But I love my brother. He, I know he loved me. So can we get back to being civil to one another and just go back to... You know, I don't see what things used to be, but get better. Let's, get, let's learn from it. Let's grow from it. Because we have a lot of hate, you know, um, greed, worry, fear, just just bitterness. Just the, the dividers. And the thing is that it takes a lot of energy to be mad at somebody. I, I've been mad at my wife. That's a lot of energy. Be mad at somebody at the restaurant. It takes a lot of energy we just love. That doesn't mean that you're giving in. It doesn't mean that you agree with them. Um, something that um, Elder Roy told me, him and Miss Shirley came down to the restaurant. I've been knowing him since 2009, and he's been like a, like that that beacon for me. Like one couple times we first went to the restaurant, we had people who didn't want to eat from us because the way I looked, the color of my skin. And it, at first it hurt a little bit, and then it made me mad. And then I told him about it on one of their visits now. Him being an older person growing up in the civil rights era, I at least thought he was going to be upset with me. He said, but no, you got to love like Jesus. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, oh, 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 and he was like, listen, you cannot hold that anger in your heart. He said, because you'll be like them. He said, now, I'm not saying buy them to the cookout, but you got to love that person. Just as God loves you and Jesus loves you daily when you mess up. And they prayed for me before they left that day. And I've been riding on it ever since. Some days are harder than other, but that's the word. So this is from 1 Corinthians 13, 13. It says, now, abide in faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Let's just choose love. Man, listen, life going to go on after tomorrow and after the coming weeks, even in the coming years. And if you're blessed to see another year around the sun and other, other than that, I, I, I want to be with love. Forget all this upset and being hatred and just upset all the time, man. I don't have time for that. I got a lot I got a lot of blessings. Um, even when times get hard, I'm still blessed to be here. So with that being said, let's love one another. Let's get back to talking to one another, not arguing one another. And this too shall pass, man. And just enjoy life. Life is good because... We can look on the news and look across the Atlantic Ocean and see what they're fighting every day. And they like don't stop either. And that's what I don't want, you know. But I just trust and hope and I'm put my faith in God. And I do believe in people. I think we will get it back. We, it might be some rough days ahead, but we'll get through it because God is good. That's all I got for you. Enjoy your week. I hope it helps someone. And um, keep smiling because the world needs it. Talk to you later. Bye.